everyone, Cruel Intentions here, and today we're going to be talking to you guys about, um, or at least telling you guys some convention stories that I've had in the past. So today I'm going to be starting with, um, not my first convention, of course not, I'm going to be starting with 2016 Indie K. Now, for this one, it is a story about my friend Julia. Actually, they're both about Julia. One's about Julia Jr., the other's about Julia. So, I'm going to talk about Julia, okay? So we are in our maid JoJo costumes, okay, and we are walking down the street, and it was just Julia, Julia Jr., and I. And I don't remember where everyone else was, but I know we had to go back, Julia and I had to go back to the hotel room for some reason. And so we were going back there, and on our way back, this, these people were like, oh, can we take a picture of you guys? And we are like, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine, like whatever, you guys can take a picture of us, it doesn't really matter, and stuff like that. So we let them take a picture of us, and... Um, it was really hot that day, like it is almost every day during that time, but it was really, really hot, and we were like, yeah, yeah, come take a picture, blah, 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 and stuff like that, and then, um, as we were walking, Julia's dress didn't fit her, okay, I think that all the maid dresses were one size, all, and that one size did not fit this poor child, so what we, so what they did, I wasn't there in the morning, but they, um, they made her put on a sports bra, Okay, and then they made, they ace bandaged her chest and then put duct tape around her chest. And the back didn't fit still. So they left it open and then they duct taped the back. And then she has this bright red cock yarn maid dress on. And it was just, I legit, like, she looked fine to the front. And then you turn around and you're like, what is that? Okay, and it was just the funniest thing. And we're walking down the street. I remember it's. And we finally got to the hotel room, okay, and like we're walking down the hallway, and I like, I just, I grab the back where her duct tape was, and she keeps walking, I just rip it off. And this poor girl, she just turned around, and I swear to God, and her face saw Jesus for at least 10 seconds, and it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Because she's just like, oh, she's like, oh God, and then she like, her face was like to relief, and it was just like, oh my God, I laughed so freaking hard. <laughs> I'm over here like dying on the freaking hallway floor of the hotel, and oh, yeah, that was just really funny. So, I don't know, that was one of my favorite convention stories that I have. Um, I guess my next convention story, like one of my, um, my next favorite ones is, I'm not going to tell you guys about the one about Julia Jr. That will be another time. But this one we're going to talk about um, DCC. Okay. And then again we're in maid costumes. We do a lot of maid stuff. Which is weird. We were in um, Future Diary maid. And I was I was Yuki. Was that, yeah. I've never watched it so I don't know how to say his name. But I was the gender band version of Yuki in a maid dress. Okay. And my maid dress was mainly black. My wig was black. My shoes were black. My lace tights were black. I was in almost all black in like 90 degree weather. I was dying, okay? And I was in these heels. And um, I didn't have socks. So I had these lace tights on inside the shoes. And the shoes were freaking, oh my god, they were so sweaty and disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. They, did, they were just bleh, like gross, okay guys? <laughs> but um, so like, all I remember is every time I'd walk, like my foot would like kind of like slide a little bit in the shoes because they didn't fit me because they weren't my size. They were bigger. And um, there's this one girl who was with us and she was wearing these pumps and they were super cute and they were black and everything like that. She was in our group too, but now she's not anymore. And um, but like we were we were walking and she kept complaining and complaining and then I was like, well, do you want to trade shoes because these were these were her shoes I was wearing. And she was like, no, I don't want to wear the com uncomfortable ones I gave you. I was like, this bitch is complaining. Okay, first of all, she's not in all black. Okay, I was in mainly black. I had one white thing on. Okay, my tights were black. This girl's complaining over here about her uncomfortable shoes. They had like tempur foam in them. Really complaining much, okay? And I remember is when we had this, we had a guy in our group named Parker. And I was like, yo, Parker, can you give me a piggyback ride, please? My feet are killing me. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so he's carrying me. And then, then this girl, she tears around. I'm not going to say her name. 
Okay, she just turns out, she's like, why aren't you giving me one? Like, why do you only give Kira them? Because the other day before that, I was cruel. And my fabric was silk, and it gets really hot. Even though her skirt's super short, you get really hot really quickly, and, like, her boots are tall, and, like, they're black. Dude, it's, it's freaking 90 degree weather. We're walking. I'm hot. Leave me alone, okay? My feet hurt. And so all I remember is I, every time we wore heels for the convention, this one girl, she'd always complain. Always. And it was just like, I was just like, are you serious? Like, can you just not complain? It's, suck it up, okay? Hold on. Okay. I was wearing these, you guys, these, and this girl could still complain. Okay, first of all, have any of you ever gotten shoes from like Party City? If you have, you know that they aren't comfortable. I was in these for our maid JoJo, and this girl wasn't even in high heels. She was like, she was like, they were they were high heels, but they weren't that high, and she was still complaining. And I was like, are you serious? Like. So, honestly, like, this girl can complain about anything, and now I look back on it, it's actually kind of funny, because I'm pretty sure I've lost all feeling in, like, my feet now. Like, I can w be walking down the street, and someone breaks my ankle, and my bone could be sticking out, and I'll keep walking, I'm like, I don't feel nothing. Thanks to these bad boys. Thanks. So love them. Alright, but... If you guys enjoyed this video, um, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, which will be here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And go ahead and watch our next video over here. Alright, I love you all. Bye.